All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name again is Larry James. I own a company called Speak with Larry No Spaces. And what I want to talk with you guys about today is the black population statistics. Now, I'm really big on statistics. I love hearing the numbers so that it can process in my mind. Now, the 2020 black population US breakdown was that blacks alone made up 41,104,200 people. That's 13% of the population. Now, blacks alone in combination with another race came to 46,936,733, which turned out to be 14.2%. Now, these numbers uh, fluctuate from time to time, and you know that, but the thing I want you to pay attention to is the fact that that number is based on a variety of things, right? Because when you look at the different races, their um, numbers are can be askew because they will put Hispanics under the white label. They'll put um, people from the Afghan area under the white umbrella. So if you compare the blacks to whites, then it's going to look like there's a lot more whites than there actually is. But I want to give you the, the facts, right? I just want to talk the truth. So uh, I'm going to go with, in 1990, there was 29 million blacks in America, 29 plus. I'm just going to give you the, the million number. In 2000, that number grew to 36 million plus. Now, in 2010, it went to 42 million. In 2018, 47 million. Now the medium household income for blacks in America, in 1970, that number was 32,044, medium household income. In 1980, that number went down to 31,318. Why did it go down? Uh, let's see. In, 20, in 1990, that number went back up slightly to 34,900, I'm sorry, 898, <clears throat> excuse me. And in 2000, that number jumped to 43,380. This is the median household income now. In 2010, it dropped again to $37,077. And in 2018, it moved up slightly to 41,361. Now, the population distribution for the 2018 census was that 58% of Blacks live in the South, 58%. 16% live in the Northeast area, 17% Midwest, and only 9% live in the West. Now, the household makeup, married couple, 27%. Women living alone, 21%. Mother, no partner, 18%. Man living alone, 17%. Cohabitating couples, 6%. Father with no partner, 2%. And other was 9%. See, I love the numbers because you can kind of get a feel of what's going on with that. Because, you know, if it's only 3% or 5% or 7%, that's a big difference than if something else is 37 or 47%, right? Now, <clears throat> the black population had 2 million males. I'm sorry, 20 million males. And the females was 22 million. So the median age of those black males was 32.5. And the median age of the black female was 36.1. Now, the percentage compared to males was that uh, under 18 years of age, 51% were men and 49% were women. 18, 18 to 34, 50% men, 50% women. 35 to 64, 47% men, 53% women, 65 and over, 
40% men, 60% women. Now you've heard that women live, have a tendency to live longer than men, right? That's true, that's a fact. Now, the educational attainment, college, uh, attended college, 50% men, 59% women. Bachelor's degree or higher, 19% men, 24% women. Now, the earning and employment, percentage who are in the labor force, 69% men, 72% women. Percentage of labor force who are employed, 89% men, 92% women. Those living below poverty, 21% men, 24% women. Now, the occupation type would be white collar, blue collar, or service occupants. The white collar, 41% men, 64% women. The blue collar, 36% men, 8% women. The service occupations, 23% men, 28% women. Now, I want you to get these numbers from the beginning because these numbers will change as time goes on. I'm gonna be doing this for a year. I've committed myself to learn and gain this information over a 12 month period, which is a challenge. It's actually, you know, another job if you will, doing something different. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably create something along the way in an effort to uh, generate another source of income because I'm a firm believer in creating multiple sources of income. I also cre create online courses. So I may create a course out of some of these videos. I don't know, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I do wanna get this information in me and get it out to you guys as soon as possible, which is I'm making as much of an effort to create the system. Cause see, when you do things like this, it's based on systems because time is very important and very valuable. So you have to have a system in place so that if I'm gonna do three videos a week, I can, every time it's time for me to do, do a video, I have access to the information and access to that time window, right? I do podcast on Monday. So I'm gonna be talking about this same type of stuff on Monday, so now on and for the next 12 months. Now, <clears throat> if you're not interested in that, I understand. I have no problem with that. But if you are interested and you are getting um, value out of what I share, you share it. You comment, you like because that's how this is done online. You know how the internet games play, right? So I'm not gonna take up much time on this video, but just know that I'll be doing these videos continually. I'm gonna be coming up with different thumbnails so that you know I have a different images of how to depict what I want the effect to look like. So I appreciate you watching thus far, and I look forward to sharing more information with you guys along the way. And I really do plan to learn a lot and plan to teach a lot. So stay tuned. Again, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak with Larry. And as always, share with someone else what I've shared with you. Bye.